Hey guys. Alright, uh, finally putting together a video showing some walkthrough solves on 5x5. Five five. I definitely want to thank Joey VOV for getting the ball rolling on these. Uh, it was a really good video and I, I did learn a couple of things. Um, I also want to say thanks Joey for showing the whole solve. Uh, I mean originally I only wanted to show like um, the Hoya Cross and last two centers and then leave it at that, but you raised the bar, so great. Now everyone gets to see how slow I am at 5x5. Five five. So yeah, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, he's like, averages maybe 30 seconds faster than me, so yeah, this is, this is not gonna be, not gonna be too fun for me. Well, it'll be kind of fun, we'll see. Alright, that's looking pretty scrambled. Um, right off the bat, I like green, got a lot of good things going on. Um, so I see these two that are ready to go right away, and I'm looking to see what other pieces that might affect. Uh, I see a free corner here and a free edge there. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, this and that. Um, so that builds this bar, and it also worked on that 2x2 two two square, which is ready to receive the bar I made. Uh, last three pieces are there, there, and there. Um, so I'm going to build it, and then plug it in. Working on blue as I rotate it, I see these two right away, ready to go in there. So I'll just work on bars. Uh, these two pieces are, wow. I've got a blue bar here and a blue bar there. So I can do this, plug it in, and then that, plug it in. That was kind of nice. All right, now uh, on to the next two centers. Uh, like Joey, I generally go straight for white, um, just because it's it's easier to give myself a target, and white is always easy for me to easier for me to find uh, look ahead wise. I uh, see these two bars, and you know, so I'll build that right away. This is a free edge, uh, which I will. While I am looking for the rest of the pieces, I'm going to move this down, so I see a corner here that I can plug it in. And then I'm going to move this over, so this is open. Uh, and then one, two, three. Alright, so now we're working on red. These are all built, which is pretty nice, so I can do that. And then F, and then that. Now I'm working over here again. Uh, this is a pretty neat case because it's just a kind of an anti-sexy. Now, normally I would do that uh, and, and restore this cross, but before I do that, I'm actually going to do another R prime, which brings that kicked out white bar up here, and then U2, and now R2 puts everything in all at once. Um, onto the cross. Uh, now, quick note about the cross. Uh, generally, if I don't see anything really super obvious right away, I ha am in the mode where I'll just start throwing stuff down. So for instance, I see this blue, I see this orange, and I see this red. If I didn't see any of their partner pieces, I would just put the blue here, the orange there, and I'd do a U prime and put the red there, just so that I'm defining uh, what cross pieces are going to go where once I see more pieces. And a lot of the time, especially by doing L2s and R2s, some of the stuff that's hidden in the back will, will come up to the front, and give you something work to work with. Um, but that not being the case, the first thing I saw was all of the orange pieces. Uh, so one right there, one right there, and that one right there. This one is really easy to work with. Uh, it's just the wide move. Um, I know that since this is my first uh, piece, that I don't have to do a ledge slammer to get this out. I can just do R U. Um, and if I want to put this orange piece in, I could do a lefty long insert, or I could just do the triple wide version of Mills of Bird's Alg, which is what I did. Um, so this piece is going to be blue, this piece is going to be green, there's a blue piece, there's a green piece, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and work on green. Uh, while I did that, it brought this green piece out. Uh, and the last green pieces in the back here. I'm gonna do a double fat anti-sexy to get that in. Bring green out. Triple wide Millsabert. 
blue pieces right here and right there. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to move it back, uh, and instead of doing... Uh, a lot of the time I will try and place, like I said before, my pieces using R's and L's rather than F's. Works out in this case because the last piece was right there, ready for a quick insert. While I did that, it kicked out this last red-white piece, uh, and there's one there already in place. Uh, so these dudes are ready to go. I don't really have a tricky alg for this either, so I just do um, the RU2 and then the long insert, and there we go. Restore the cross before moving on to last two centers, F, L. Um, not a whole lot is built right off the bat, but uh, I do, I am going to use this free corner, build that, and I'm going to use this free corner to build that, do an F, make this last bar, and put it in. Yeah, put it in. Alright. Uh, anyways, so, L, F. While I was doing the L, I saw that it put the uh, yellow-red pieces back here. Last yellow-red pieces over here. Uh, normally, I wouldn't do a rotation. I would just leave it here. And I saw that this was there. Put it in. It is put together in the back. The next two pieces I saw were this, and then immediately after I saw that, uh, and I see this, but I, so I have a choice. Um, the last green-orange piece is right here and I need it to go into the back. I don't generally like working with this in the back, so now I am going to do a rotation just so I can keep myself oriented. I see this piece, so I'll bring that down so I can work with it. It's last green red right there. Build that. I see two blue heads together there. It's last piece is already in the back. Rotate. Build it. Bring it down. Um, now, I try to either create or preserve something that I can work with while restoring the last edges, uh, sorry, the, the last centers, um, but I'm not that great at it, so I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it ride. So right off the bat I see these, and that's in the back, so I don't even have to bring anything out yet, just insert and flip rotate um, and while I'm here I don't see anything super easy that I can work with so I'm gonna bring that up uh, I do see that I like to build these to finish off stuff like this first before finishing off stuff like this because uh, for last two edges stuff like this is usually easier to work with than stuff like that so I'll bring that down build that and I'm gonna look for the yellow green uh, which is actually back here, uh, so instead I guess I'm going to work with yellow-blue. Uh, and I've got a, a parity case. Um, for the parity cases, I do recommend that you learn uh, some last two edges algs, and everyone should check out uh, Christopher Deasis's site, or Meep's site, for, for learning algorithms like this, because uh, they're, they're really, really useful. So what I'm actually going to do, since this pair is already made for F2L, I'm going to insert it to put this into the top, and then while I'm at it, I'm going to put this into the top as well. And then do the algorithm. Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, so on to 3x3. Three three. Uh, yeah. There it is. Everyone can probably tell pretty well now why I'm slow at 5x5. Five five. It's because I'm slow at almost everything else. Um, I am getting better. It is getting easier. Ugh. End perms. Oh my god, I just completely messed up an end perm. Anyways. Usually I can talk and solve at the same time. That's not going as well today. Alright, let's do one more, because this video is already getting pretty long. Yep. Okie dokie. 
lot of orange stuff sitting around. Some green stuff too. I'm gonna do orange. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this edge up and then I'm gonna insert that and insert that. So R2, bring it over, bring that one back down, move this one up. Looking for the last pieces, we've got one, two, three. Okay, moving on to red. Um, I saw this, so I'll remember that that's there, and instead I'm going to work on uh, these two first. I set this up to use a, a trick that I learned from, uh, I think it was a Kevin Hayes video, where if you've got a free corner here and a free edge there, line them up, and then you can insert and, and make a 2x2 two two real quick or finish off that side. Um, so now, insert that other piece. Uh, red is all right here. You can build this with a quick kind of a half, one and a half sexy move, and then insert that last bar. Working on white next, uh, didn't see a whole lot of pieces right off the bat, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this edge while keeping that, and then um, that edge, this edge right here, if I put that in, it completes this bar, and then the last white piece down here and they're up here so build that put it in restore the other one looking at green next uh, I've got some stuff I don't like a whole lot of it uh, for if I think of this as a bar I'm going to build that one by two and then insert that uh, the last three pieces are here and now I'm gonna do an L to finish off the bar I'm not going to restore it with an L prime. I'm going to do another L, and that brings the kicked out white edge here, and then move it all back, restore it all. Back to cross. Um, I saw two green pieces right away. This red is already in place, um, but I'm going to work with the green. So doing that, putting that in. Uh, the last green edge was over here, and I know this is free, so I can just throw it in real quick. Uh, over here belongs orange. Uh, I see an orange piece right here, and as I bring it down with an R2, it reveals another orange piece. Bringing it up and doing a quick insert there. It actually builds this blue for me, so while I'm at it, before I'm even done with orange, I'm going to bring the blue down. Um, and I'm also going to... Okay, so... As I bring this blue down, it's going to throw this red into the B layer, which is actually where it belongs, in the back. So I'm going to also do a B prime, get that in. That brought this orange piece out for me. So I'm going to bring that to the front and finish it off. Um, the entire time, I, I also noticed that the last blue piece is right there. Uh, so I'll bring that up. This is still not finished, so I don't have to worry about preserving it. Insert the last blue. One, two, three red pieces all just came out to the front by doing all that shenanigans. Um, I'm going to restore this piece, uh, just so to keep this one in the front where I can see it. Um, I like that this red is white facing up, uh, so I'm going to do a double fat anti-sexy to place that piece, and then it's the easiest way of inserting the red. Restore the cross, FL. Uh, this bar is already made, so I'll bring it up, put it in, and this is also one of my favorite cases. It's just triple sexy move. L prime, F prime. Got blue here, blue orange there, sorry, yeah, blue yellow, blue orange, and blue red, all really ready to go for me. Um, I'm going to do, the last blue yellow is right here. Uh, I'm going to then bring down blue orange. a flip out and I'm looking for the last blue red which is back here um, so it's already down here and ready to go I'm just gonna do an arbitrary piece build that I see this right away and that goes right there so I will rotate just so I can see everything that I'm doing I should work with not having to do that but anyways so bringing it down 
as I'm bringing it down, I'm looking for things that I can preserve. And I see this, and I see that, and this is like the luckiest case ever because if I, when I do a U2, it builds that. And if I flip this down, this last yellow orange, it builds that. So immediately it skips two edges. How awesome is that? Okay, uh, moving on, I have another last two edges case. This one I know. I don't know them all, but I do know this one. Um, so I'm doing that. And I know that the it kicks out this cross edge, so I'm going to finish it off with another U2 before I rotate back up. Alright, so F2L. And last pieces. Um, I'm actually going to do um, VHLS. Because why not? Uh, and this is just a soon. I don't know any of the CLLs for soon. Oh, I lucked out and got a PLL skip. Which made the video shorter, which is awesome. Okay, so I hope uh, just showing two solves is enough to give you a gist of Hoya on 5x5, five five, the way the way that I look at it. Hope that you learned something new. Uh, and if you see anything that I did that you think I could do better, then please let me know. Um, hope you enjoyed. Later on.